Hello everybody, welcome to the Kapis.ch YouTube channel, Peter speaking. This is intentionally an extremely quick and dirty video because it is a, such a no-brainer for a person like me who went to the mountains in his childhood every then and when, not regularly. Because on this picture you see everything you just take with you when you go to the mountains. Unconditionally. It's not a matter of how the weather is, how the sky looks from down where you start. You just have those things with you. Good shoes, a hat, a jacket against rain. And if you think about carrying a stick with you, you do carry a stick with you. We can go a bit in details about the shoes. It's hard to get some light, shed some light on it. And if I take one, you see, those shoes are high, they protect your ankles in case of anything, if you slip on the ground or anything. They are quite a bit stable quality, they have quite good soles. You can have better shoes than those, but those are the minimum you have when you go into real mountains. And with mountains I talk about things like 1500 meters above sea level in uh, areas, in moderate areas. And if you are in places like Peru or something, it's not so much a difference because, yeah, when you get a 2,000, 2,500 meters you are in the mountains, even there it's warmer, no snow and something, but the area is mountainous, it's stony, ground is uneven, same thing. That's where the stick comes in, whenever the ground gets complicated you might be happy to have a stick. Sure thing, if you are very sportive you can debate this. This is the only item you can omit actually. But I happen to be in the mountains several times when I actually had to grab some stick somewhere in the in the woods, cut myself a, a stick from a branch because I did not have one. Then the head of course, it can get sunny, and when you are higher up, the sun gets strong. You can also take some sunscreen with you, that's never a bad thing. But at a ma the head is the bare minimum, you just have a head with you when you go to the mountains. And the next one is this jacket here. This is a something useful. It works against wind, it works against rain, because there's one thing in the mountains. You don't see the weather coming. When you have mountains around you, you can't see the clouds behind the mountains. And when they are there, you get wet. There's no time to run for shelter in sometimes, especially when you are out, a bit remote. So, no matter how blue the sky is, you have a jacket with you against rain, wind and a bit of cold too. Of course this can all be expanded, but those are three and a half items I would say. Really good shoes, which protect your ankles from getting torn or something. A sprayed. You have a jacket for a minimal protection against all weather conditions you could think of. 
you have a hat and whenever you think you might need a stick you have a stick because it's never bad to have one it's often bad to not have one and sure you can extend it you can for example get some warmer clothing like a sweater or something with you you can take some sunscreen with you you can take some sunglasses with you and of course you can take a nice camera with you because it's always annoying to have a camera at home but that's not so vital we don't speak about a survival disaster situation in the mountains where you have to stay overnight in a snowstorm or something because that would not protect you in that case we talk about a nice sunny normal day when you just go up there to look around check out some flowers whatever because it's the mountains and yeah it's of course it's it's not always life threatening but when you spray your ankle in the wrong place it gets nasty so the shoes are definitely part one jacket part two head part three stick part four I'd, I'd say number four this depends a bit on your personal fitness but it's never wrong to have it yeah I guess that's pretty much about it thank you for watching bye